Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to get some practice adding tolerances to some of our drawing files here. And if you're coming from a different type of CAD software like SolidWorks or Autodesk Inventor, you'll probably find the dimension drawing features in Fusion 360 very limited. However, every year Fusion 360 gets better with their dimension drawing file features, so every time you update the software, um, it becomes more like traditional types of CAD software like Inventor and SolidWorks. So on that note, once you have this drawing file open, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do now is go ahead and add bilateral or what are known as symmetrical tolerances to our overall dimensions. So that's our dimension here with the 5, 3, and 2. So let's go ahead and do the 5 first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that 5. And over here, you'll notice that it says tolerance. So we're going to come on down to symmetrical. Okay, and we're going to set that to plus or minus okay, 0.1. So by default, it already throws in a 0.1. So make sure it says 0.1. Go ahead and hit close. And there you are. There's a tolerance. So what does that mean? Well, that means that in order for this part to function correctly, this dimension here has to be within plus or minus 0.1. So 5.1 or 4.9, okay, for it to function correctly. So let's go ahead now and add a tolerance here to this dimension. So click on your two, repeat this procedure. We're going to do a symmetrical one. And once again, we're going to use a tolerance of 0.1. Go ahead and hit close. All right, and let's do the same thing over here for three. Symmetrical tolerance of 0.1 plus or minus 0.1 go ahead and hit close so remember tolerances are placed on parts in order for them to function correctly and very very small or precise tolerances can affect the cost of the part so it's important to apply the correct tolerance so you don't end up creating a part that's very costly and expensive all right so now we're going to go ahead and add a limit dimension to this uh, one inch location dimension here. All right, so this one inch location dimension says that these holes should be one inch from this edge right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on our dimension. We're going to come over to type and we're going to come down to limit. Okay, and now what I want to do is my upper tolerance, I want it to be 0 0.03. And I want my lower tolerance to be zero. So what this says is in order for this part to function correctly, it has to be, these holes have to be placed anywhere from one inch to 1.03 inches from this edge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And there is my tolerance. And don't ask me why Fusion 360 does not by default put 1.00 here. Okay, I know coming from inventor background that inventor will put 1.00 in the upper tolerance is 1.03 here. All right, so now for these dimensions here, these location dimensions, what tolerances will they get? Well, we're going to do what's called a general tolerance table. So for dimensions that don't have a tolerance directly placed on them, we use a general tolerance table. So now let's go ahead and create a general tolerance table down here in the bottom left corner. So we're going to come to the tables. We're going to come to custom table. And I'm actually going to sort of place it over here. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to remove a couple columns. So I'm going to click here, click there. So I only end up with two columns here. And I want five rows, so one, two, three, four, five. So we're good. I'm going to go ahead and close that guy. I'm going to double click down here and I'm going to type in general tolerance table. I'm going to make it bold just to make it stand out. All right, so now I'm going to move it sort of into place. And you don't want that, so click it so it's kind of something like that. Now this bottom left corner here, I'm going to drag it into place and then I'm going to just shrink down the rows here so it fits on my drawing. So we get something like this. Okay, and then up top here, I'm going to go ahead and type in linear dimensions. 
and then over here I'm going to type in angles. And now I'm going to click on this column and I'm going to type in x dot x spacebar 0 0.02 and then I'm going to click in between them spacebar and I'm going to come up here with my symbols and I'm going to insert the plus or minus symbol here. Okay I'm going to do the same thing basically below this now but we're going to add one more decimal place so we're going to type in x dot xx spacebar this time we're going to type in 0 0.01. Okay, then I'm going to click between them again and insert that plus or minus symbol. And then we're going to come down below and we're going to add even one more decimal place further. So x dot x x x space bar 0 0.005. And I'm going to click in the middle once again and add my plus or minus tolerance or plus or minus symbol okay and then over here for angles I'm gonna click up here I'm gonna insert my plus or minus symbol and then I'm gonna hit the space bar in five and insert the degree for angles so coming back to these location dimensions here this one this 1.25 they have two decimal places right 0.25 so we come down here and we look for the general tolerance here that has two decimal places so this one so this tolerance plus or minus 0 0.01 applies to all of these location dimensions here okay all right so once you have that done go ahead and save your work thanks for watching we'll see you next time